Hi guys, Dinner Lady here again. Right, so today I'm going to be making um, a stuffed pork fillet wrapped in bacon and a cheesy leek gratin. So I'll bring you down and I'll show you the ingredients. So I've got just a pork fillet, got that from Lidl's, got some streaky bacon to wrap around it. I'm just using some sage and onion stuffing, that's just an Aldi version. I have made it up because I wanted it to be cold, so that's already made up there for you. And for the cheesy leek gratin, obviously, we've got some leeks. Um, I'm going to be using um, about 70 grams of mature cheddar and about 70 grams of mature gouda. For the bechamel, we'll need two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour. I've got some double cream I need to use up, so I'm going to use that and I'll thin it out with some um, milk and obviously a salt and pepper. And that's it. Well, what I'll do is I'm going to get on doing the pork fillet first and then we'll do the rest. Right, so I'm getting this uh, pork fillet out of the packet. I'm just going to trim it up because I don't want the full length. And these will go away for something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sinewy bit off. If you have a look, I'm not bothered about the fat, just the sinewy bit here. Just get your knife underneath it and just... Take that off. That'll not cook very well, and it'll just um, it'll be really tough if you leave that on. So I just like to take that off. It doesn't take two minutes. Another bit here. See the fatty bits. I'm not bothered about. I'll just put them to one side. So what I'm going to do now with this is I'm going to sort of butterfly it out. So just take your knife and the top side there, just run it along till you can see it. Just there we go, and then the other way, like here. Slit down like that and just open it out. There we go. Right, so now we'll just get a hold of some of this. It's gone a little bit hard because it's nice and cold now. We'll probably not use all of this, I just want a little bit to go down the middle. Move it there slightly to one side and then once we wrap it up it'll be well wrapped. Let's get this together. Just make something pretty inexpensive. Just go a little bit further, make it a little bit fancier. You know it's the weekend. We can enjoy that little bit of extra can't we? It doesn't take that long. That'll be fine. So I'll just move that out of the way for now. What I'll do is I'll cook that off separately, especially as I've had my hands in it um, with the with the pork. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the streaky bacon out and we'll get it all wrapped up. So if you just give us one second, guys. Right, so I've just got some cling film there. Put that on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay the streaky bacon across. I think there's two there. There it is. I thought so. Let's lay that across. Try and overlap it just a little bit, just so you get that nice covering all the way along. And just like that. Right, so I'll continue with this and then I'll come back to you when I'm finished doing the bacon. Right, so I've laid out the bacon there. There's two left and that was a pack of 14. So that's worked out to 12. So I'm just going to pop the pork onto there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this over like so. Just keep going all the way down. Just going to overlap it just a little bit again. Just keep going. Try 
try not to stretch it too much because it will shrink a little bit when in the cooking anyway. So if you pull it too, stretch it too much, then it'll shrink back even more. So just take your time with this. There we go. it's all lovely and covered. I'm going to try and get this bacon as crispy as possible on the outside of this pork. This is going to be the underside anyway so I wouldn't worry too much about that. I'm going to turn that round a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to get it into the fridge for a little while. I'm just going to pull it towards us, just tighten it up. Right, so there we go. What I'm going to do is I want to clean up, get this in the fridge for a little while, clean down and then we'll get on with the leek gutan. Right, so I've had a good clean down, uh, changed my board, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the ends off the leeks. I know you're supposed to leave them on for um, washing them, but this is how I like to do this. There we go, all roughly the same size. Right, I'm just going to cut them down like that and then I'm going to wash them and then we're going to saute them in the pan. So I'll get on with doing that and then we'll come over to the stove. Right, so I've washed the leeks. I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil in there and get the heat up a bit because I want to char these just on the underside a little bit. I'm just going to place them in there. Flash a little bit. Do these in batches. Get another one in there. Right. So I'm just going to cook these off until they're charred. I do have um, a dish all ready to go in. And I'll put them straight into there and then we'll get on with the cheese sauce. So if you just give us a couple of minutes guys until I get this done and then we'll be back to you. Right, so that's the leeks charred and I've just put them straight into the bowl. And what we'll do now is, is we'll get on with doing the cheese sauce. Under the lid, pop that back on. And I'll just get my stuff together and then I'll come back to you. Right, so I've got this on the heat. And I have um, the butter going in. It's going to melt that down. Let's turn it up slightly. And then we'll add in the flour. You don't want to colour this, you just want to um, put the flour around in the butter just to take out the rawness of the flour. Now I measured the amount of cream that I had left and that was 150 mils and I'm going to use probably about 100 mils of um, milk as well. So that's all sure. It smells lovely. Let's add a little bit of the cream in. A 
little bit at the time, just at the beginning here, just so I can incorporate. one side and use my whisk to make sure that we don't get any lumps add in some more cream right, so I'm going to top this up getting a bit thick so I'm going to top this up to about 100 mils of milk as well As soon as it's a bit incorporated, add a bit more. looking lovely now I'm going to put another hundred mils of milk in only because I don't want it this thick because the cheese when the cheese goes in that will thicken it up as well sorry about the scraping guys but we don't want a lumpy sauce Okay, that's a better consistency. So now I can get rid of that and go back to my spoon. You go, you see it's just caught in the back of that spoon. So I'm gonna get my salt and pepper and then I'll come back to you. Right, so I forgot as well, we like a little bit of mustard in our cheese sauce. So I'm just gonna put big heaped teaspoon of mustard in there just a little bit of salt because you have got salt in the butter and also the salt in the cheese do you want nice grinding black pepper Mixed in. I've got this on a low heat. While I was um, charring the leeks, I um, grated some cheese. This is half of the cheddar and half of the gouda. I'm just going to put a bit in for now. Let that melt through. Do want this nice and cheesy? Some more in. We can leave some to go on to the top, but I might just put this in and grate a bit more to go on the top. There we go. That's it all in now. All right, so I'm just going to finish off incorporating that in and then we'll come down and I'll show you it going onto the leaves. Right, so I've got the oven on warming up. I'm just going to pour this all over the leeks and 
then I grated some more cheese, just a little bit, there's a lot in there, just to go across the top, just so that you know exactly what's in it. I've got the oven on at 190 and I've got it on for 20 minutes, we'll check it after then and then we'll come back to you. Oh, it dropped off the lid. Right, so we'll see you soon. Right, so I've cleaned out the pan that I did the leeks in. This has been in the fridge for a oh, good half an hour, 45 minutes. So I'm just going to get this out. I'm just going to have it on low-ish. I'm just going to oh, find we have got the end bit. There we go, eventually got there. I want it so that seam side there goes down first. Right down low, but it has been on a little while. So I'm going to brown this on every side. Right, so that's the leek rattan brought out of the oven. I'm just going to let that rest. Oops. Take that off like that and just going to let that rest on there. And once the, the pork's all browned all the way around, then that'll go into the oven for about 30 minutes. Now this will be lovely just at room temperature. We'll keep its temperature for a long while. Um, so don't worry about that. What I'll do is once it stops bubbling, I'll cover it over and we'll, um, we'll just have it at room temperature with the pork. Right, so the pork's browned all over. Just got this tray from the little oven. Just gonna oh, pop it onto there. This will go in the oven for about 180 for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back to you. Right, so that cooked for uh, 30 minutes. I did test it to make sure it was cooked all the way through and then I've let it rest for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna pop it on the board there and we'll give it a cut. See how we'll go. I'll do this end. Nice sharp knife. There you go guys, stuffing's all up one side but I don't know how that's happened but it doesn't matter, it's still nice and juicy all the way through. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate it up and then it's Ian's favourite time. Now then guys, taste testing time, cover that up because we're rubbish. <laughs> Yeah, a bit disappointing yesterday at the rugby, but hey, let's crack on with the food. So I'm going to start with this pork tenderloin. Wrapped in it. Bacon. That. Lovely. Yum yum. Mm. That's much needed after yesterday's alcohol uh, consumption so mm, very very tasty moist bit of stuffing in the middle that's really good nicely seasoned as well that's a bit of a not a kick but you can taste the salt mm. I think that's off the base mm -hmm. mm, that's really good really good I just did some broccoli and some um, carrot and swede that we had in the freezer. Yeah. Just to go with it. Mm -hmm. Just going to try some of this. If I can get some off. Cheesy leeks. Lovely. Mm. Mm. Creamy. Very nice. That's lovely. So it's just a broccoli. Mm. I could do with some goodness inside me. Um, 
of the current Swede. I was telling Mandy yesterday we started off the day with a big Weber spoon breakfast. Right. Then when we was in the ground after the game, or one of the games, I got some loaded fries. <laughs> and then before we got the coach back last night, I got a really big kebab, so the calories I must have consumed yesterday was unreal, so it's nice to get some decent food down it rather than highly calorific. That's just absolutely perfect for a Sunday. Yummy. So, I'm going to sit down and finish this off. Mm. That was a bit of a big bite when you were about to talk, Ben, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That's because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right, but anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, keep commenting. Keep all the recipe ideas coming. If you haven't subscribed already to either channel, please consider doing so. It helps us a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go uh, sit and vegetate for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll catch you guys very soon. Thank you very much for watching, Thanks guys. For watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye.